President of Education at ESNOA. I'm going to show you today how to use Ivan's Market Appetite. So we have this in a few steps. So step one, before we begin, ask yourself, what carriers is my agency appointed with for commercial lines? If you don't know, stop here and email training at esnoa.net and we'll be happy to provide you with a list. If you do know, once you've gathered your carrier appointments, the next step is going to be to go into the EPIC on the toolbar at the top and click on Appetite with the fork and the knife. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up your appointed carriers. That's how you want to begin. So you're going to click on Appointed Markets here at the top, and then you're going to click on All Markets. Now you're going to see some carriers already show um, yellow in a showing that they are appointed. These are done by the admin side for ASNOA. So what you can do is uncheck some of these carriers that you possibly do not have appointments with. But what I would suggest you do is start by searching your carriers. And if it doesn't have a yellow star here and it's just white, it would look like that. You just simply click on the star and mark it as appointed. And then move on to the next carrier. Mark Helm, CNA. Okay. Several of these carriers you may have appointments with through our um, national appointment. So you may want to check with those as well through Joanna and Agency Services. Once you've listed all of your carriers and you searched all your carriers and marked them appointed, now you're ready to begin. So the next step would be, and that you only have to do that one time, and just note that each user will need to do that as well within your agency. The next step would be then go to Market Appetite up at the top. And let's just talk about this screen for a minute. So you have a few options. You can start a new search here. Uh, start a new search here, meaning you can just type in the name of the industry, or you can um, type in the NAICS code, or if you don't know the name of the industry and you put in something else, you'll, you'll see something like this, can't find industry. And it'll actually ask you, uh, get you to an email that you can email Ivan's and say, hey, this is what I'm looking to work on and it, I don't see that industry class code here. And they'll either ask you some more questions or ask you or direct you how to find it with the right class code. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the second area, so you have an option to type in the industry, type in the NAICS code or SIC code if you know it. If you don't know it, there's some quick searches here too. So you have some built out for you for construction, commercial real estate, apartments, you can see um, hotels, restaurants, auto dealers, all the way down to auto repair, and then all the way down to HVAC and plumbing. And then the bottom portion of your screen is actually going to be searches that you've done already and how many times you've done that same search. So I just wanted to get you comfortable with that as, at the beginning. So you can start by searching any class code. So if you, again, if you know the class code's fine, if I don't know, I'm going to start typing in chiropractor, and I'm going to search on offices of chiropractors. The next thing is choose the products that you're interested in quoting or searching, right? If you just need to search a commercial auto or just um, BOP, these six are going to be defaulted in here for you, so it's not going to hurt to keep them all checked. But if you're searching other um, products such as cyber liability, directors and officers, EPLI, professional E&O, um, builder's risk, you can uncheck all of the others and just check the product that you're searching for. The next step is where does your client operate? What states do they operate in? Do they operate in all? You would just select all. If they operate in a few states, you can just select those few states. We're going to search my state right now, Illinois. And then that's it. The next uh, and final piece is to click the search right here. Now all your appointed carriers are going to appear 
first. But I want you to note something. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see there's a bunch of unappointed um, carriers here too. So this is an industry-wide search. The reason we mark our appointed carriers is because we want them to appear at the top and we want them to come up first because this is we're trying to diversify our carriers, see what carriers not only uh, do we have within our, or our agency, we want to know who's actually interested in this class of business that maybe we didn't even know they were interested in that class of business. So what carriers are doing now is you can see the, the three options that you have here. It's going to be in appetite, thumbs up, out of appetite, thumbs down, or some historical appetite. And that just means that they've written that class code and might be interested in that. And, and basically, this is just a starting point, right? We just want to start the search with knowing what carriers do I have, what carriers are interested in this class of business, and then you can go ahead and start that conversation either with an underwriter with a, more details on your client, or you can actually start um, off and quote there. But before we go there, I wanted to show you something else. More and more carriers are giving us more and more information. They're realizing this is a very valuable tool. It's a time efficiency within our agency. So they're adding even more notes here. So under State Auto, not only are they interested in that class of business, but they also have additional notes here that you can actually view on in their carrier appetite specific to those classes or that industry may come up from there. So always view on more notes because there's going to be more and more information there. If they have middle market um, interest in that appetite too for the larger accounts, small business, they'll they'll give you the thumbs up there as well. Okay, for the monoline auto, which I think is good too. Not a lot of carriers let you know that they'll do that monoline. And then if you're interested in quoting with that company or any of the companies, you can look down here to the corner. And you can see portal access. So again, it's a great starting point for you to where to go, who am I appointed with, make sure you're diversifying all your carriers within your agency. And then when you're ready to go quote, you just click on the portal and it basically pulls up your carrier um, portal where you would sign in and start quoting. Now, there's talk about information being transferred over from this portion over to the carrier from your download in Epic, but stay tuned. I'll keep you posted when I hear anything new on that. Now the next piece is there's other areas within the system this is also available. So let's talk about renewals, not just new business. If you have a renewal policy that's coming up within the next 90 days and you're going to need to remarket that account, if that Carrier, most carriers download the policy uh, information, including the NAICS code. If the NAICS code or SIC code is, exists on the Accord form within Epic, it'll also pull up the Ivan's Market Appetite automatically. I know this is a tool that you can hide, um, but when you're working on your commercial cases, you don't want to hide them because, again, it's going to give you that exact same information for that class of business what carriers should you go to to start your remarketing. And again, if they have more notes, you can click on that as well. And portal access, again, you'll be able to access the portal from here as well. Okay? Good information to know, right? And also with talking about renewals, if you go back to home, there's also another area called Renewals Manager where you can access the Ivan's Market Appetite. You just simply click on Home, go to Renewals Manager, search out either the account that you're working with or all your accounts. I identified just one particular account that I want to work on, but all of your accounts that are coming due within the next 61 to 90 days could appear here. And as you're working on them, you would stage them, and I can teach you more about Renewals Manager in another lesson. But right from here, I have a work comp coming up for renewal. Now I, I want to know who can I go to for that particular case. The market, Ivan's Market Appetite is here and lives here as well in Renewals Manager. And again, if the code exists on my Accord applications from the download, or if I manually enter Accord 
uh, information in on a court application, you want to make sure you use those SIC codes and NAICS codes if you know them. In this way, it'll help guide you. And again, here's all the carriers that are interested in writing that class of business for work comp. All right, they automatically came up. So now I have my search of where to go to. And there's many times I've heard agents say, hmm, oh, I forgot I even had Pekin or Nationwide or Amtrust. All right. And that's it for sharing what Ivan's Market Appetite can do. So to learn more for additional training, you can continue to watch our videos on YouTube. You can register for additional EPIC weekly sessions at asnoa.com under the ASNOA University, or you can simply email training at asnoa.net if you need more help with setting up your Ivan's Market Appetite. So thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.